we are going to need some dumbbells if you have them that will benefit you very well today. Um, resistance bands, uh, we've got kettlebells if you don't have the dumbbells, and sliders, okay? What's really the only necessary item is probably some weight. If you don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, if you got jugs of water, that works. If you have, you know, gallons of water, that will work too. Um, or your dog, your cat, something like that, that'll work too. Okay. I know I said that we was going to need a stability ball. We're not going to need a stability ball today. So we're just going to put that out the way. And then the last thing, a ledge, ottoman, maybe um, a couch, a chair, something like that. We're going to be putting our feet up on. If you don't have access to that, that's fine. Um, we'll just do it straight from the floor. That's a okay. I will go ahead and ask you now if you're in a place that allows you to have your shoes off, please go ahead and take your shoes off um, so that we can get familiar with our feet, you know, because the better our feet work, the better we're going to work. And I never really understood why people worked out <laughs> with their shoes inside their house. <laughs> I mean, but that's your prerogative. You go ahead and do that. But we're going to go ahead and get going. And the first thing that we got are high knee pulls. And so we're just going to go ahead and get going with our high knee pulls here. Remember on your high knee pulls that you're being intentional with pulling that knee up to your chest, okay? Trying to really kick the hips forward without arching the back. Just kick the hips forward, push through, get a good stretch in that groin area. Of course, don't leave that foot out. It should be nice and tight. It should be dropped down to the floor or anything like that. So pull it up nice and tight. Perfect. Next one, we're gonna go ahead and get into our goblet squats. And we're gonna squat down, hop it over or step it over. Back and forth, we're gonna go five times. Back and forth is one. So this is the end of two. Bam, all the way down into your squat. That's three. And we'll come back, this is four. Make sure your butt's going straight down, your feet are on the ground. All that weight shifted to the outside of your body, of your feet. Good. Next one, we'll go ahead and go our, our hurdler stretches, or if you wanna think about going over a baby gate, that would be good too. All right, shin comes parallel, that thigh comes parallel, all that goodness right there. Okay, now we're gonna reverse that and go the opposite way. I really want the music to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to multitask right now while we're doing some of these exercises, getting ready to get warmed up. Perfect, once you got a couple of those, those are good. Now we wanna just go ahead and take that band Real quick, oh sorry, take this band real quick. We have monster walks. So the band you wanna put as low to your ankles as possible. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your leg in, you're at your uh, hip, and you're gonna lead with your heel. All right, we're walking over, the core is nice and tight. All right, when we come back, we're gonna alternate sides. We're gonna go back and forth, and we're gonna do that 10 times, okay? So you're trying to get as many steps as you can across. I would say three, four, five would be good. And then bring it on back. Make sure your core is tucked, or your core is engaged while your hips are tucked under. Really feeling that side of the glutes start to fire. Um, let's go out of here. We're halfway on these. You should start to feel your legs start to fire up, which is a good thing. I promise I'll be right back, undivided attention as soon as I get this Kelly. Oh, but I want it, I want it, I want it. Let's see. Oop. We'll go Missy Elliott. Can't go wrong with Missy. I like Missy Radio. One, two, three, four, five, baby, no, well, this is not it. <laughs> oh, last one. Perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and take those off. And then we're going to get into inchworms. Okay, so the inchworm push-ups, uh, I'm going to go straight on. You people that already know what you're doing, you got 10 inchworms, so go ahead and get going. Our feet are narrow right underneath our hip bones, okay? Not shoulder width apart, but narrow. We're going to go ahead and walk out, inchworm out, without our hips moving from side to side. We're going to go into a push-up, hike back, heels go down to the ground, and then walk back up. Okay, side view. 
We're coming down. Straight legs. Head is up, gaze is up for a push up. Pipe back, the heels slam down to the ground, and you push back up. All right? If you need to modify to your knees, that's your option right there. Still pike back and push back. Another option for you, if you're finding trouble in getting down there with straight legs, you can slightly bend the knees. Come on out. Again, if you need to modify, that's there. When you pike back, if you can get them straight, perfect. If you start needing to have to bend your knees on the way up, that's A-OK -okay too. Lauren, you're too loud. <laughs> All the way down. We're going 10. And I know I was explaining, so I'm sure you guys are in front of me. Finish out. Make sure you keep that core nice and engaged. Don't let your chin fall to the ground, okay, on that push-up. So what I mean is don't push your head down to try to get down there closer to the ground for your push-up. All right? All right, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and go right into some abs. We have three exercises we're gonna do for abs today. Um, just for time, because we are gonna do hit legs and arms heavy, we are going to just do one set. Each is for one minute, okay? Um, we have Superman sliders, boat pose, and then weighted alternating toe touches, okay? The Supermans, we have our Sliders, or if you don't have sliders, maybe a book. Um, a couple of books, textbooks would work perfectly for this. Um, and if you don't have them at all, that's say okay I'll show you right after I finish what we're doing. Okay, we've got Superman sliders. Our arms are going straight out, core is tight, all the way down, back around, and push up. I am on my knees. I advise you to start on your knees so that you can go ahead and get the feel for it. All right. The minute has started, so we're gonna go ahead and keep going. If you don't have those sliders, that's fine. Start to walk your hands out. Perfect. And then push your hands back underneath you to push up. So you're just walking those hands out nice and long. Core is tight. And then come on down. And I guess you might have saw on my on the rug, I was able to start to slide out at the very end. Okay? Not too much friction, so not too much burn, all right? If you have the sliders and want a little bit of a um, modification, you can go one arm out and then around and then the other arm out and then around, okay? We're finishing up, we got 15 seconds left right here and then we'll flip over into boat pose, okay? Keeping that core nice and tight three, two, and rest. We'll roll it over rather. All day. I forgot to start my watch. Hopefully y'all didn't. But we're up into boat pose, so we're gonna sit on our butt. All right, time is going. Hands can be back behind you, feet are out front, or feet are straight up, okay? Then hands come up, and we're holding here for one minute. If you can't get those legs straight all the way and they need to be bent, that's A-OK. -okay. Make sure the toes are up and pointing back towards the body, OK? Here we go. Push them out. Don't forget to breathe here, guys. We're halfway. Chest is to the sky. We're breathing. We're breathing. Yes, feel those hip flexors. Definitely, definitely. Ooh. Come on, 15 seconds left here. Push it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh. All right, we got another minute here. In that minute, it, time is going. We have alternating weighted toe touches, okay? If you don't have the weights, that's okay. You can just come up and touch the toes. Legs are wide, all right? As we go up and down. We're already 17 seconds in. And remember, we're only got this one time so we can get into the rest of the workout. 
You should be breathing out on the way up, taking that breath in on your way down because that's when you're not doing as much work. Keep it going, 20 seconds. Keep the low back flat when you come down. There shouldn't be an arch in your back. Finish out. Five, four, three, two. Woo, good job. Okay, that was a good burn. We're gonna take a quick minute so I can explain to you the circuit that we're going to go over now. All right, we got six different exercises we're doing. I'm gonna get a drink of water. <laughs> Six different exercises. First one, grab your single leg hip thrust to hold. Okay, so um, you will need your bench, ottoman, chair if you have it. If not, that's okay. Um, we'll have narrow air squats after that. So we'll go ahead and get our weights together. I got 12s. All right, we'll get those weights together right in front of that box or where you're going to be able to. Do your hip thrust so that we're able to use that box. Next one we'll have is a tricep kickback to shoulder press circuit. So this tricep kickback to shoulder press circuit will be tricep kickbacking for five. Stand up, shoulder press for five. Tricep kickback, shoulder press, okay? And we're gonna do that three rounds through and then we'll move on. The next one we have are squatted front raises. Um, for these, our weights are gonna to be to the inside of our body. Our feet are shoulder width apart. And we are going to front raise as we sit down. Okay? I have 12s there. I would um, expect for my advanced or intermediate to be 10s, 12s, 15 17s. Okay? Um, novice start out five eights are great. Okay? Um, the next one we'll have our stationary side lunges. This is where I'm gonna use my kettlebell. All right, but we have our stationary side lunges down and same side down, okay? What we're trying to do is get that butt to the calf. And we'll talk about that when we get going. And then the last one, a fun one, those plyo high knee runs. We'll use that box. One foot will be up. Chest is in line with that shin, all right? Knee is a little bit over toe, we're in the ball of our foot, and our arms are moving from hip to lip. All right, hip to lip, hip to lip. As we go, we pull that knee up, we pull that toe up, hip to lip, okay? Um, all of these are for different uh, reps, so I'll shout those out for you as we go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with a hip thrust to hold. We're gonna do five hip thrusts to a five second hold, all right? It's gonna be single leg. If you're just starting out, you can definitely put out both legs or put down both legs for this. That's a-okay. You can just get two sets in. That'll be perfect, okay? What we have here is I have my right heel down into the, into the bench, all right? And my hips are in line with my knees, okay? My feet are up, my toes are up to the sky. I'm gonna bring that uninvolved leg back to my chest and I'm gonna pull up, either I can hold onto this knee or I can put my hands on the floor, all right? But I need to make sure that this gap right here is really non-existent, okay? So we're pushing up and we're gonna hold this five seconds and then we're gonna go five seconds, okay? We're gonna do that for a minute on the right side and a minute on the left side. Here we go, hips up, hold five seconds. Here we go, pulse, five, four, three, two, Hold, toe is up, hips are up, pulse, one, two, three, four, hold, there we go, Woo. here we go, five, set, five pulses, two, three, four, five, each time I'm coming down, my low back is flat, touching the ground, all right, you gotta push those hips up, that's fine, here we go, five reps, it's supposed to start burning. Yes. Here we go, we're almost done. Pulse it. Come on, we're down, last 10 seconds. Oh, hold it. Last time, pulse. Five, 
four, three, two, and rest. All right, yeah. We'll switch to the other side. Remember, if you feel like you need to modify or have that help from that opposite leg, that's a-okay. Otherwise, we are in single leg, holding. And we're pulsing. All the way up for five. And we're holding. Look at that straight line. Make sure you're in a straight line. All right, straight line all the way through. Don't have those hips down. Pulse it. Don't have those hips down. Get them all the way through. Hold it. Five and five. Look at that. We're halfway. Make sure you breathe and pulse it. Come on. Let's finish. We got five pulses and we're holding. Hips up. It's supposed to burn. We already know that. Pulse it. Finish strong. Finish strong. Hold it. Don't forget to breathe, guys. And pulse it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Finish. Ah. Perfect. Good. We're up. Yeah. That was it right there. Hello, hamstrings. Good job. Good job. Couple seconds just for us to get over into our narrow air squats. We're going those in five, four, three, two. We have 12. Down and up. All right. Feet are narrow, feet are close, but knees don't touch. Knees do not touch, okay? Ever. Get your 12. As soon as you're up, you're right back down. Good. I don't know why I put those down. We got a tricep kickback to shoulder press. Five sets each. Three rounds through. Excuse me, five reps each. Three rounds through. I'm gonna take it back. My back leg. Hold me up nice and tight. Go ahead, if you know what you're doing, make sure there's no arching your back, okay? Keep that back nice and flat. Chin is in line with the spine, head is down. Elbows back, punch. Two, three, four, five. Stand up and press. Two, three, four, five. Drop back and kick. One, two, three, four, five. Stand up and press. One, two, three, four. Last time, step back, kick. One, two, elbows stay high, back stays flat. Five, stand up and press. One, two, three, four, five. Good deal, hold on to those weights. Cause we got squat, uh, squatted front raises for our 12. I'm gonna give you guys a side view of these. Keep holding on to your weights. I'm picking mine back up. Squatted front raise, feet are out. Shoulder width apart, here we go. Sit it down, raise it up. One, two, we got 12, three. Try not to swing the weights. Four, five, six, finish. Seven, eight, nine, all the way up. 10, 11, core tight, 12. Woo -hoo. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Stationary side lunges we got coming up next. All right, stationary side lunges. We don't need anything in the way. I'm gonna use my kettlebell. We got 12 on each side. So on this, I'm taking a wide V. My toes are gonna be turned out just a little bit. As I come down, I might slide down just a little bit so I can get all the way down into my side squat. All right. And I'm gonna push back up. Oh, I'm gonna step off that carpet because it always makes me slide up a little bit. Well, we got 12 to the left, 12 on the right. Come all the way down, stand it all the way up. Good, good. All the way down, chest is up, butt goes down. All that weight to the outside of that leg, finish your 12, 
Once you finish 12, switch to the other side. You guys decide you on this next one. Let me go this way. YV, we have 12. Try to hold this weight different. I'm sliding out of my sweaty hands. Down and up. Chest is up. Butt goes down to that calf. 12 is a number. Your heart rate should be up. Nine, finish, finish. Seven, finish. Twelve, good. Always finish, guys, always finish. All right, last one. Pile high knee runs. Single leg. Got that couch, that chair, that ottoman, that step. Perfect, if you don't, that's okay too. You don't need it. You can do it right from the floor. But we have 20 reps. That foot's up. We're in the mid to the ball of the foot. Nothing's in the heel, okay? Everything in the mid to the ball of the foot. Shift your weight forward. Remember those arms are going from that hip to the lip. Everything tight. Here we go, tight. 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Switch the other side. Woo. Ready? And let's go. One. Toe up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Done. Woo. That was good. Get your 20. All right, peaks. Folks, folks on my Zoom, and folks already on our program, you're gonna run that again two more times, okay? No option today. We're gonna cool it down for my beginners, my people that are just logging in. But if you want, you can go ahead and rerun that. Loop it back around with two more sets reminding you Single leg hip thrust to hold. It's for a minute. Five reps to five seconds hold. Both sides. Your narrow air squats. That's for 12. Your tricep kickbacks to shoulder press. Five and five, three rounds. Stationary front raise. Bam. And that's for 12. Side lunges left and right is for 12. And your single leg high knee run is for 20. Okay, so the only exercises that you have for 20 are the narrow air squats and the plyo single leg high knee runs, okay? So go ahead and get that going. Make sure that you check off your workout for today's course ability at 11, I believe. Uh, that's okay. You can just do the live workouts with Britt, okay? You guys know we're about behind one week on that calendar. We record a week and ahead. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and warm, uh, cool down. If you're going to finish, yes, Sue, good job. See you, Winston. Go ahead, Kayla, good job, guys. Finish out strong. Perfect, perfect. Anybody that's still with me, we're gonna go ahead and cool down. All right. I love my Fab Five exercises, or my Fab Five stretches, my cool down stretches. We start with a hamstring stretch. My legs are nice and straight. I'm gonna start to push my body forward. I'm gonna feel a good stretch in the back of my legs, okay? Chest is up. I'm gonna take that deep breath in. And when I let it out, my chest is gonna get closer to my legs. I'm not gonna round out my back, okay? I'm gonna pull my chest closer to my legs. I'm gonna keep breathing, okay? Keep breathing. Try to stick that butt out just a little bit, like you're trying to arch that back, feel a deep stretch in those hamstrings. Big deep breath in. Let it out and let your chin fall to your chest. Good deep back dural sheath stretch. Perfect, hands go behind your back. We're going into our figure four, our pigeon stretch. So our right ankle is over top of our left knee, not on it. We're gonna slide up. And I like to push my butt down just a little bit closer to my heel. I like to protect my knee, my right knee by pulling my foot up. All right, my chest is up nice and tall. We're gonna take a deep breath in. When we let the breath out, we're gonna go ahead and push 
that right knee away from our body, okay? So deep breath in, let it out and push this right knee away from your body. Push, 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 push. Take another deep breath in, let it out. Slide out of that. We're gonna switch to the other side now, all right? That left leg is now over top of that right knee. My right foot is nice and active. Dorsiflexed is that lingo, <laughs> all right? And I'm going to take that deep breath in, and I'm going to push that breath out while pushing that left leg away from my body. Don't let your hips twist on the floor. I'm trying to open up our hips right now. Take another deep breath in, and let that out. Perfect. Number three of the Fab Five stretches on this cool down. My right hand will go onto my right ankle, and I'm going to roll my right hip bone. This part of my hip is going to touch the floor. That means I'm gonna to have to roll over a little bit more to my right side. Now, some of you guys will be able to pull in that leg, and that's great. Some of you guys may need to come all the way over and hold with one hand. That's okay too, all right? We're gonna take that deep breath in, and when we let it out, pull that foot closer to that butt. Feel that good, deep quad stretch right above that knee. Pull and let that out. We're gonna go to the opposite side, right ankle, or excuse me, left ankle with that left foot. And we're going to roll that left hip down to the ground, right? Okay, perfect. Take a deep breath in. Let it out and pull that leg, pull that heel into the glute. And let that go. All right. Number four of the five, my personal favorite. Elbow is right underneath, shoulders stacked, hands are palms down on the ground. My glutes are relaxed. I'm gonna bring my heart to the sky and I'm gonna stretch out my diaphragm. If this is not uh, deep enough or more intense stretch that you need, Push those hands straight up. Again, remember the glutes are not supposed to be fired. They should be relaxed. Heart is pulling up to the sky. Good stretch right here in our abs. Take a deep breath in, come down. The last one of the five, we're gonna push back into our child's pose. So my toes are touching. My knees are wide. My belly hangs heavy in between my legs. And I'm gonna drop my head and I'm just gonna breathe in this position. I'm really trying to get my heels into my sit bones, okay? And just relax down into there. Whew. Perfect. So this is a 30 minute set. This is just a little snippet of what you got on your real program.